Tiger, you said even though you hadn't been here before, you find the course more challenging than a lot of people think. Why? Well, I think that uh, you know, how the golf course plays. You got a lot of crosswind holes. Um, the rough is up a little bit, and uh, you, you have your, your work cut up for you. I mean, they, they toughen up a little bit and lengthen a few holes. You know, you, you're going to have to make decisions off the tees, whether you're going to lay up short of the bunkers and have a long iron in, or you're going to try to skirt the bunkers, and if you pay the price for a miss hit shot, or can you actually carry the bunkers? You've been open about your frustrations regarding your putting, particularly at the U.S. Open. Seeing the green complexes here, what adjustments do you think you have to make? Well, they're certainly not quick. Um, <laughs> that's, that's one of the things that you always have to adjust here when, when you come over for the Open Championship. I mean, they, they can't be. They have to be a little bit slower because you don't know what kind of win they're going to get. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you just got to make, make sure you pay attention to that and um, some of the holes that... Um, you, know, you may have to get a little bit harder wrap than you think. You have more wins on tour so far this year than any other player, but how would you assess your season? Well, so far it's been a, been a great season. Um, could have been even better? Yeah, it could have been. It could have won you know, two other big events. Uh, but, you know, if you look at it as realistically, coming back after what I had done and, um, you know, thinking back to how I was thinking back in January, uh, to have three wins already, um, I thought that might have been a little bit unrealistic, um, yeah. and also played this consistent. So, you know, I think that everything in the year so far has been good. Finally, Paul Goido said a couple of weeks ago, I don't know if you saw this, he thinks you're the most underrated player on tour. Hmm. What's your reaction to that? Well, that's, that's, a, that's a nice compliment. That's a very nice compliment. Uh, you know, I, I think that... Uh, it's just one of those things you just go out there and you, you play, and, um, and hopefully it's good enough. Well, look at that setting. It's going to be special this week. Woods has been in contention early in his last three Open Championships. As we mentioned moments ago, following first-round play, he has been among the top eight on the leaderboard each of the three times that he has won. After the second round, Woods has held the outright lead two of the last three times. Uh, Woods, of course, missing this major last season.